our ability to sequence a human genome today has advanced greatly in recent years. And what that's created is a circumstance where we can generate data about an individual's genomic makeup, but not necessarily know completely what it means. So specifically, we can sequence the genome of any individual, and we can look at the millions and millions of variants that individual might have with respect to individual places in their genome that they are different at a nucleotide level or even at a multi a segment of the genome uh, that might be different. But that doesn't mean we always know exactly what that means clinically. And so genome sequencing is now creating a circumstance whereby we can get information, but we don't necessarily know what that information means for the individual. And that creates some obvious ethical questions, in some cases ethical dilemmas. And uh, those are being studied as they need to be and need to be considered, and I think this is going to become a common set of discussion points around advancing genomics when it gets applied to clinical medicine. Um, for example, I can tell you that in the course of being interested in studying an individual's genome for particular genetic changes, uh, one can readily see whether those genetic changes are there or not. But in addition, you find a whole lot of other variants or other genetic differences that are incidental to the major reason why you might be studying that individual or doing uh, genome sequencing of that individual. These are incidental findings. And there's a lot of questions about what do you do with incidental findings? Some of those incidental findings, you know what the clinical implications are, but many of them you don't even know what the clinical implications, and then there's lots of gray area. What do patients want to know? Uh, what did they agree to when they agreed to getting a test to have you look here or there in their genome and you discover other things over here or over here? And so these are issues we're now studying and grappling with. The whole area of incidental findings is, is becoming a very topical one in genomics, and it, it really does just represent one of many ethical issues associated with the uh, enhanced ability to study individuals' genomes. Another area of ethical issues relate to the integration of genomic information, genome sequence data in particular, into individuals' electronic health records and having that information flow in and what information should go in, everything or just what we know is clinically relevant and many concerns about how confidential that will be and how that information gets handled and, and it, you know, it's one of these situations where the technology is clearly there to be able to get the information, technology is there clearly to put it into an electronic health record, but I'm not sure the medical, clinical community is fully grappled with how, how they deal with that information and what the patients want to know and how that information should be tracked over time and, and so forth. So, uh, there's a very good reason why the genomics community from its inception has been very sensitive to some of these ethical, legal, and social issues that come up associated with genomics research, and we continue to study those in parallel um, with other genomic studies because it's the responsible thing to do.